I need to drill it in my head. I'm just gonna drive forward. Whenever you do whatever you like, so this is like my hardest maneuver. No, well, it's not the hardest maneuver. You did so well. Okay, Lauren. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to do the parallel parking. So I'm gonna explain to you how it's gonna work. Okay. You can't do it with this car because it's too dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Because exactly. after this car, there's a black car parked over there. Okay. I don't know if you notice or not. No. <laughs> no. So there is one more black car there, and there's oh, yeah. like say, no. enough gap in between the black and this car. So I want you to drive off from here as you normally do. You stop side by side to the black car. Yeah. And then reverse back in between the two cars. Okay. For the parallel parking. Do you understand my instructions? Yeah. So let's drive off. Stop side by side to the black car. And uh, let's do the maneuver, please, for me, okay? Yeah. You can still do it. I there is no it. risk in there. I'm just gonna drive forward. Whenever you do whatever you like, and when you finish, just let me know, right, please. Okay. Are you finished? Well, it's not perfect. Well, you just tell me. I'm asking you yeah. a question. So, are you sure you finish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When you know that you are slightly out. Yeah. Now, some examiner may give you the benefit of doubt. Yeah. Some may fail you because if you look at the center, the corner, yeah, there, you're quite wide. You gone forward. When you gone forward, what else you could have done? What is the plan B when you are slightly away from the car? To go that way a bit. No. Oh. So? This is like my hardest maneuver. No, well, it's not the hardest maneuver. You did so well. So I want you to just go forward a little bit for me. Go forward a little bit. Okay, a bit more. Okay. Now stop the car. Now I want you... It's okay. Okay. Go to the reverse gear. Yeah. Stay to the right. One to the right. Okay. Now, I want you to just understand what is happening. So yeah. you did swing in. As you comes in, now you stopped when you see that your car become parallel with the curb. Yeah. You stop your car, and you realize you're slightly out. What you should be doing. Make your tires straight, which you did. So make your tires straight. So your tires are now straight, but your car are slightly out. Yeah. No problem. What are you gonna do now? What can you do now? Instead of going forward, reverse. Yeah, reverse. But we need to do something with the steering before we reverse. Ste Stra what? Quarter to where? Oh yeah. Quarter to the left. Let's do it. Quarter to the left. Do your observations. 
Yeah. Start reversing slowly. Okay. Keep doing your observations. Yeah. Keep doing that. So, do you feel you're close enough to curb now? Yeah. But your car slightly. It's a slanted. Yeah. So, what can we do with the steering wheel now? Quarter to the right. Do it. Do your observations. That car looks very close. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's, no, it's not going to hit you. Do your observations. Now, uh, do you feel you become parallel now? Yeah. What are you going to do with the steering now? That's it. And. I need to drill it in my head. That quarter, I forgot the quarter, and then I was like, no, remember last time we said forward. You, the what, last time we went forward, why were we went forward? I don't know. Because you have no other option because you mounted the curb. Oh yeah, that time. But now, always remember, it's better to be out and come back in in one go. Rather than mount the curb, because yeah. when you when you're going to touch the curb, you have to go forward. But when you are slightly out, you always can stop the car parallel and do a quarter and then come back. I, I always say to my learners, it's better to be out, yeah, and then do a quarter method to come back in, rather than go forward and come back in. Yeah.